Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here for a very special podcast with Ugo. Ugo, you are big underscore machinery exactly. on Instagram. You're 20 years old, and you've got, what is it, 200 plus thousand followers? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how you got into this industry and, and how it's then brought you to be invited exclusively to this event. So I have to say that even as a child, I always look uh, for construction site and especially for excavators. I mean that uh, when there was a construction site or on the road where I live in a small town in Switzerland where I come from, I can uh, look for those excavators for hours. Even if it was small excavators, probably less than like five tons, but I looked for those for hours. And that's really bored my parents. Or for for sure, because they had to, to be with the same with me because I was maybe three or two years old. And then uh, it never uh, disappeared, this passion for machinery. And then uh, I, I grew up, but I al always looked for machinery. And when I received my first iPod, that, that was not an iPhone, because I was maybe 10 years old, I was just an iPod. And I started to take uh, pictures of uh, those uh, construction sites. And uh, when I was 12, but almost 13, it was a rainy day, I was uh, in my room and then didn't know what to do. And I had an idea, maybe if I share uh, those pictures of Instagram, maybe people will like this because maybe I'm not the only one who like uh, heavy machinery. And uh, I just created this page. And then uh, I was uh, probably one of the first, that was 2014, to share uh, heavy equipment on Instagram. And it grew up really, uh, really fast. And then maybe uh, three or four years later, during two or four years, I just share uh, what I, l I see in the street. Well, every excavator that I see, I do just a poster. And then in 2008, there's a big, uh, something big important, really important because I went for the first time in Zurich. Okay, so big, big city, small yeah. town. Yeah, to, to big, big city, city. Yeah, with yeah. big stuff. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was, I, I start to go there maybe once a month to uh, shoot uh, demolition excavators, and uh, I started. They had the largest uh, machine in Europe. Wow. For at demolition, that time. right? Yeah, yeah, up to three hundred tons, and it was really something important because at this time I had maybe ten thousand followers. Yep. Yep. And it really start. I really start showing something new that nobody shared before me. Yep. And uh, I have this exclusivity of all this impressive stuff that we have in Zurich. I will come back later about this. Okay. And then uh, it continue, continue. And then two years later, so when I was 18, I moved to Zurich for my study. And uh, I have plenty of time to shot all this machinery. At this time, I had maybe already uh, 60,000 followers. And then it never stopped. It, will, it came bigger and bigger. And uh, up to last year, when uh, Chris Maginis from Our Summers Mover and Paul Arkin from Ypres Media came to Zurich to see the machine that I'm shooting every day. Oh, right, so you've been doing this. They've, they've seen you. They, they've on seen Instagram. you, they have seen the machinery, and they, they have thought that's a heavy machinery. We have to come there. And they come to me, they wrote me, and I say, yeah, it's a pleasure, come and we'll uh, show you everything. And then uh, I show, show them, and uh, it was, I think, a great thing for them, and a great thing for me. It was really win-win. A few months later, Aaron Witt from the US. I built Witt. Uh, so uh, built yeah, Witt on Aaron Witt, yeah. yeah. Very, very famous in the US, yeah. And uh, for his first trip in Europe, first time in Europe in, in his life, chose Zurich to come to visit some machinery in Zurich, like Eberhard, Keybag, Arega, with a lot of huge demolition stuff. I have to say that I'm quite lucky because I was in Zurich. I share a lot of, we have a lot of huge stuff in Zurich. Yeah, yeah. That's really helped me and allow me maybe to be there today. And then uh, as I have more and more followers, I started not, not to deal uh, with uh, the company anymore but with uh, brands like uh, Volvo, Caterpillar, Liber, or some, some really renowned brands. Yep. And uh, to do more and more stuff. And I have to say that I'm still a little killed. <laughs> a little killed. We, we just love excavators. Exactly, yes, we, yes. we just uh, can spend hours to look at excavators and demolition the machinery. And I'm just living in a dream, I think. Yep. I'm here in Malaga, you know, and there are machinery everywhere. Yep. 
It's just a dream. Honestly, I have to say, when the people told me, yeah, we want to come to see those machineries, I was quite proud because, I mean, that's the stuff, the machinery that I shot every day, that's something really incredible. Yeah. If people are coming from far away to see this, you I'm really realize. lucky and yeah. I was really happy when they came and to meet those people and to meet other people who are also passionate about heavy machinery. You know, when you look at uh, the stuff you do on Instagram, it's, it's actually become a part of your life and your job now, hasn't it? Tell me a yeah. little bit about, you know, the actual day job and actually the support you've had from that business to, to carry on. I have to say that now I'm doing an internship because I'm studying, I'm a student and I'm studying uh, civil engineering. Yep. And I need uh, to have uh, to practice on site before uh, to study and uh, maybe become a site manager. I have to be uh, to practice. And when I was looking for a practice, I just uh, called the company with the big stuff and I said, I'm really interested. And they said, yeah, come to us. And uh, I came and now, I just uh, began two months ago, and now I'm on a site with a 390, with a tubeless boom for a demolition, a 352 and a plenty of machinery. And that's just a dream. Every day it's just a dream. I'm, I'm so happy to go there, to learn every day something new. I was always looking behind the fence or sometimes on site, but now I'm doing something on site. I'm do taking down some part of the building myself with my hand to uh, sort everything or uh, to drive some small machinery like uh, wheel loaders. That's really something crazy. And uh, I'm still allowed to have some time when, uh, to take some pictures from the, the site where I'm working and to share my daily life on site. So you're now behind the scenes, fence. behind the fence, and you've got this internship with a very big company. Yeah. But the people in the business have recognised the actual value you as a young person have brought through Instagram to their business, to the global sense. Maybe, yes. You, I think the be better way will be to ask them directly, but they recognise what they did. And so we have a problem in the global industry yeah, yeah. right now, trying to attract operators, young people like yourself into the industry. We've got to do things differently, haven't you? You've shown me that in, in the way in which you've approached it and actually built an audience. To do things differently and to talk about things like the structures and buildings on Instagram rather than in a, a more traditional sense, it makes it more impactful, doesn't it? I think for the, the young people, the young generation like me, we. Uh, Instagram or social media have far more impact. To reach the young people, you have to be on uh, social media. I'm still uh, reading newspaper, but I'm not a normal young <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. Fair enough, yeah. But most of the young people just uh, read info and just are uh, on social media because you have everything. And that means that if you as a company, you are uh, not on the social media, you cannot attract people, it will be uh, far more difficult. Social media allow you to reach people, to contact people, and to have a far more connection with people than uh, f that it was before. We're here now in Malaga. We've just done the first day of the Global Operator Challenge. You're covering that on your channels. Already got a great impact from the followers as well. Where's next for you? You know, the biggest brand in the world in this sector has just invited you to this event exclusively. Very few people here. Mm -hmm. Where's next? What are you going to do next? Obviously, there's the job, but there's the, the, the Instagram as well. Obviously, I don't know what's next, because when I'm thinking how it was one year ago, I couldn't imagine that we in, in one year I will be in Malaga with a caterpillar. Just so crazy, and it's going so fast, that I can't imagine what's next. Well, I think one thing is next. More people are going to come to Zurich, for sure, <laughs> to see um, things that are happening in that city. You're going to be doing more of these events, I'm sure. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you here in Malaga for the first time. It was a pleasure for me too, and I hope to see you in Zurich to see our stuff. Well, you know what? <laughs> an invite from yourself is always going to be a positive one, so I'd love to be able to join you sometime uh, to do that. Thanks for also sharing your story. It's a fascinating one, and I'm hoping it's going to inspire other young people to get out there, take some pictures, share this industry. It's brilliant. Have a great time for the rest of the time in Malaga, and keep up the great work. Thanks very much again. Cheers. Thanks to you too.